everyone happy new year i hope everyone's new year got off to a great start it is 2022 i hope things are going great for you so i am cleaning up my bedroom i washed some clothes so i am folding and putting those up and i'm gonna tidy up some other things in this room but of course we all want to start the new year off with a clean space so that's what i am doing So now that my room is clean for the most part, um, I still have to go through those papers that I have on the floor right here. I bought an organizer for those, but we'll do that later in the night or something like that. Um, I want to talk to you guys about your new year. How did your new year go? Um, have you set your goals and your, you know, whatever, what do you do goals or resolutions for 2022? You know, how is that going? Um, with you setting them, of course, we can't measure yet because it's just literally day one. But um, I'm going to sit down and do mine. We usually do our vision board, but I haven't done it yet. We usually don't even do it this early anyway. I usually do it like the first or second week of January. Uh, Jalen and I do it together. Uh, this time I think I want to host like a small little get together. And then me and some of my friend girls and, you know, Jalen or they have children around her age can sit there. Um, can come and we can all just do our vision boards together. Um, I did analyze the one that I created from last year and I must pat myself on the back. I did good. I actually did pretty good um, with everything that was on there. Even like with some of my travel trips, I didn't even intentionally um, match up some of those. But when I um, was evaluating where I've been, like the trip the places that i went matched what was on my vision board like i had new orleans on there i finally did the cabin trip um we did go to the beach it wasn't a cruise but i did you know start back traveling in 2021 so but hopefully things pan out where i can also do that this year in 2022 as well um of course my fitness goals i always do good at the beginning of the year end of year not so much Usually I have like a target trip or something in mind that helps me to kind of keep my goal or whatever um, and kind of stay on path with doing my keto because that's the one thing that works for me. It just, it works for me and I just, I know it to a T. It's so, so easy for me to manage. As, as soon as I start, as soon as I start on it, I just, I can do it and it works. Um... So yeah, we're going to get back on that. I said today, but my mom, as you guys saw, has cooked cabbages. My mom has cooked um, cornbread, black eyed peas, and barbecue pork chops. Yeah, that's the thing. That's that southern thing right there. <laughs> and so I'm going to go and chow down on that, of course. So, you know, we won't start the weight loss journey today i'm thinking maybe next week because i want to also go to the grocery store i want to meal prep i want to really prepare and um get everything in order so this weekend i usually take this first week to really work on what it is i want to accomplish for the year i know some people start at the end of the year setting their goals and doing all that but i usually take the first week of the year to do that because for some reason it just feels you know new and you know refreshed and just like a new beginning so it's like what am i gonna do with this new beginning so um yeah that's what i have planned it really would be dope for my relationship um goals to pan out in 2022 as well but the one thing with relationships is that you don't control that by yourself you just don't because it takes two people to be in a relationship so um did i date in 2021 you know dating um 
but uh and dating with the purpose you know sometimes you think something is what it is and it just turns out not to necessarily be that and so that's not 100 percent dependent on you or or let me just speak for myself it's not 100 percent dependent on me per se um it like i said it's two people involved so hopefully 2022 brings about you know my intentional partner that wants to elevate and just go to different levels with a relationship that leads to ring on the finger <laughs> okay no but literally that leads to marriage that is the ultimate goal for me at this point in my life that is what i want i know some people don't desire that i desire to be married you know so um with dating this year anything that does not align with that i don't want i don't want to be a part of it and i have no problem the one thing about me i have no problem doing the nip means cut like i have no problem with it i know everything is not perfect i know everything's not easy but it's just some things that i just feel like i don't want to be a part of and so when i feel like that or something like that i just easily am able to walk away or say no this is not for me and I know some people that stick it out and you go through these ups and downs and voila, then you get married. I don't know. I haven't found that balance of toleration, I guess. Anyway, we could talk for hours about dating and relationships because that is a forever, it's just a forever saga. Um, I could do more videos sharing my dating journey with you guys if that's something that you want to see. I kind of keep that pretty private. Learned that lesson way back a couple years ago i do want to be open i do want to be transparent i do want to let y'all know like what it's like out here in these streets because it is not easy okay um hey guys so um last time we spoke we were speaking about new year's and my camera cut off and so that was supposed to be one total video and the way that it cut off i didn't want to end the vlog there so here we are it is now january the 13th which is also my sorority founder's day so i am actually getting dressed because we're about to go out to dinner and i figured while i get dressed i can um finish talking to you guys about what we were discussing which was 2022 goals and um i think i left off talking about relationships <laughs> which is not the highest priority of 2022 okay it's, it is not um on top of everything i think i was talking about i didn't mention that i have some um financial and investing goals that i definitely want to get into um this year i won't be you know specific as to exactly what it is but i do know that i've been doing like a lot of research on just making investments and how to do all of that stocks day trading I'm telling you guys like that is how that's how we start to build generational wealth and we don't get you know we don't really get that much information about that or no one's just talking about that regularly and so you you know you grow up and you know okay I'm supposed to work I'm supposed to save but then at the same time money that just sits does not make money because we all know um, with your bank accounts that the interest rates even on savings accounts money market accounts all that the interest rate is just not that great so it's like you have this money and it never grows so i feel like i'm at a point where i've done really good my looks are just i feel ashy anyway i feel like i've done really good with saving but now it's time to grow my money grow my assets and so that's all um i want to get into oh god i'm so washed out I don't know why it's making me look so white y'all i'm really looking really white it's really not that white and it's probably because of this daylight light bulb up here um let me see if i can adjust it okay guys i really do not look as white as it's making me look in this camera i promise i don't um i want to get more into get back to doing more lifestyle stuff on my channel with you all i used to do that all the time like um cook with me's and what else i used to do of course more diys i just feel like i don't have the time to do as many diys as i used to do um 
but i want you guys to engage and let me know what you want to see from my channel because you know i've been doing this for so many years now and so i'm at a point where i'm just trying to figure out like what do you guys want to see like i know you want to see interior decorating stuff and um you know home decor stuff but aside from you know just aside from that i want to know like what do you guys want to see i know i want to get back to doing more um cleaning videos aside from cleaning videos um fashion hauls um get back into doing more beauty self-care things i used to do a lot more of that and be more versatile with all that stuff years ago and then i just got into just directing just doing more um interior decorating and so i want to kind of like just expand beyond that because i even though i'm working on projects constantly um especially working with like clients and stuff but also like once i basically get a room the way i like it in my house i'm not just consistently changing it i don't have time to just keep constantly changing it for the sake of a video <laughs> You know, I can show definitely every season I do like to change, you know, spring, summer, fall, excuse me, Christmas. Of course, we're going to see all those seasonal changes, but typically once I style it, I'm not really trying to just constantly keep restyling it. Um, I might do little changes here and there, but that's more so over on Instagram because I can just do like, you know, little quick 30 minute, 30 minute, 30 second to one minute reels showing something that I'm switching up right quick, you know, and and just little stuff like that, but it's not enough to make a video. So anyway, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I need to do my eyebrows. I am trying, trying to multitask. But yeah, let me know what y'all wanna see, yo. Um, you know I'm in the bathroom. We are not done with the bathroom. I don't even think I posted the video yet showing how I put up the wallpaper, so I am gonna post that next. How I installed the wallpaper myself. I'm also going to show you how I did my accent wall in my bedroom um, behind my bed. So I may combine those into two videos because I don't feel like either one of them is long enough to just be one one video each. And they're both called related to accent walls. So yeah. But anyway, I hope everybody's new year is going great. It is the 13th. Like I said, it's J13. So to all my sorors, DST, happy Founders Day if you are watching this video. Um, also, I just want you guys to, you know, make your goals. Stick to them because 2022 is going to be the year, okay? We're going to make it happen. So I'm going to go ahead on and fast forward through so that I can get dressed because it is... 7.29, I need to leave here at 8 o'clock.
All right guys, so I'm gonna wear this crimson dress. It is a midi length and um, it's just a body contour dress. So perfect for the occasion, crimson and cream. It's a little bit more burgundy than our colors, but let's go put this baby on. Okay guys, um, I want a little bit more. A little bit more on the side here. All right. I think we're good. Let's try to do this. Mm, yeah, let's do that. All right, so I am good. Actually, the dress actually looks good. The way the material that it is actually is sucking your girl in. So <laughs> it's actually making me look like I got a little physique. <laughs> well, I do have a figure. It's just a little thicker, okay? Thick like a snicker. Let me stop. <laughs> anyway, guys, okay, so I will holler at you guys when I get to the restaurant, let you know um, what it looks like. If you live in the Atlanta area, we are going to um, Mojave, spelled M O J A V E. It is off of, I think, Powder Springs. Oh, Powder. Is it or is it in Powder Springs? I'll let you guys know. Um, I'll let you guys know where it is and how good the food is. This is going to be my first time going. I did see some things on the menu that interested me. So hopefully the food is bomb and the drinks are bomb because I am so hungry because I usually do not eat this late. It is 7.51 by now. I have already eaten and probably had a snack, okay? <laughs> so, um, I haven't eaten since lunchtime earlier and I'm starving. So, let's go. in my next one.